Why Mark Harmon's NCIS opening credits removal took 11 months. Welcome to USA 24, my dream channel. One of the greatest and most unexpected series exits of the contemporary period was Mark Harmon's decision to leave NCIS after 18 seasons of portraying Leroy Jeffro Gibbs. Fans were understandably perplexed by Harmon's self-engineered resignation given his position as the series star and the fact that NCIS often led Monday night ratings at the time of his left. The choice to continue using Harmon's name and image in the opening credits of the show for the remainder of season 19 further added to the misunderstanding. The choice was especially puzzling considering Harmon's final scene as Gibbs occurred in the fourth episode, keeping the credit prominent for another 17 episodes even without him. Given how crucial Harmon and Gibbs were to the success of the series, the decision may be interpreted as a kind of adoring tribute. Veteran producer Stephen D. Binder told TV Insider that such a presence would endure even in the absence of his actual body. Binder remarked, if I can't have Gibbs, I still love having his presence in there. I wouldn't want Gibbs' presence to fade. Later, Binder stated that there was probably a more pragmatic reason Harmon's credit was still intact. The producer said, I'll have a more definitive answer for the plan once we actually have to build the season 20 title sequence because that's really our deadline. Such concerns are typically not addressed until a new season of NCIS is about to premiere. True to his pledge, NCIS executives postponed removing Harmon's credit from the mix for nearly a full year. The NCIS team was probably also waiting to see if Harmon would come back. In 7D Binder's remarks regarding Mark Harmon's continued appearance in the NCI's credit sequence following his departure, the phrase a more definitive answer stands out. In addition, as the longtime NCI's producer pointed out, Harmon's inclusion in the credits may have been influenced by the fact that Larry Jeffro Gibbs' character was left open to the potential of a comeback. Binder told DV Insider, there's always headroom for him to come back. To get him and the rest of us enthused about it, I believe it simply needs to be the appropriate tale. In a 2022 interview with TV Line, CBS Entertainment President Kelly Call reiterated that point, saying that everyone is aware that the door is open if Harmon ever wants to pop in for an episode or multiple episodes. Harmon still hasn't managed to get back into the NCIS fold, and it appears that Harmon's persistent absence was ultimately convincing enough for Binder and NCIS to remove him from the credits sequence before the start of season 20. Despite some logical conjecture that Gary Cole, Harmon's replacement, would take the top spot in the season 20 opening credits sequence, Scene Murray ultimately filled the void. His character Timothy McGee served as Gibbs' pupil for the most of Harmon's tenure, thus the pick seems more than appropriate and we can only assume Murray will have that position for as long as NCIS is shown. The top NCIS episodes, according to Action Level by Mark Harmon. The popular CBS show NCIS centers on a group of highly skilled Naval Criminal Investigative Service agents who investigate crimes with a Marine Corps or Navy focus. Since its inception as a spin-off of the popular JADG, the series has been broadcast on television. That's not only a noteworthy run for the program, it's a noteworthy run for actor Mark Harmon, who plays Agent Larry Jeffro Gibbs, the head of the NCIS. Beginning his career as a Marine, Agent Gibbs later seeks employment in military law enforcement. He is a skilled shot, a resourceful agent, and a fearless team member. Gibbs' intuition, which he frequently used to foresee criminals' subsequent movements and promptly catch them, is even more astounding. One of the greatest and most unexpected series exits of the contemporary period was Mark Harmon's decision to leave NCIS after 18 seasons of portraying Larry Jethro Gibbs. Fans were understandably perplexed by Harmon's self-engineered resignation given his position as the series star and the fact that NCIS often led Monday night ratings at the time of his left. The choice to continue using Harmon's name and image in the opening credits of the show for the remainder of season 19 further added to the misunderstanding. Thank you. Please subscribe to my channel. The choice was especially puzzling considering Harmon's final scene as Gibbs occurred in the fourth episode, keeping the credit prominent for another 17 episodes even without him. Given how crucial Harmon and Gibbs were to the success of this series, the decision may be interpreted as a kind of adoring tribute. 
Veteran producer Stephen D. Binder told TV Insider that such a presence would endure even in the absence of his actual body. Binder remarked, If I can't have Gibbs, I still love having his presence in there. I wouldn't want Gibbs' presence to fade. Later, Binder stated that there was probably a more pragmatic reason Harmon's credit was still intact. The producer said, I'll have a more definitive answer for the plan once we actually have to build the season 20 title sequence, because that's really our deadline. Such concerns are typically not addressed until a new season of NCIS is about to premiere. True to his pledge, NCIS executives postponed removing Harmon's credit from the mix for nearly a full year. The NCIS team was probably also waiting to see if Harmon would come back. CBS slash Sanja Fleming In 7D Binder's remarks regarding Mark Harmon's continued appearance in the NCIS credit sequence following his departure, the phrase, a more definitive answer, stands out. In addition, as the longtime NCIS producer pointed out, Harmon's inclusion in the credits may have been influenced by the fact that Larry Jeffro Gibbs' character was left open to the potential of a comeback. Binder told DV Insider, There's always headroom for him to come back. To get him and the rest of us enthused about it, I believe it simply needs to be the appropriate tale. In a 2022 interview with TV Line, CBS Entertainment President Kelly Call reiterated that point, saying that everyone is aware that the door is open if Harmon ever wants to pop in for an episode or multiple episodes. Harmon still hasn't managed to get back into the NCIS fold, and it appears that Harmon's persistent absence was ultimately convincing enough for Binder and NCIS to remove him from the credit sequence before the start of season 20. Despite some logical conjecture that Gary Cole, Harmon's replacement, would take the top spot in the season 20 opening credit sequence, C. Murray ultimately filled the void. His character Timothy McKee served as Gibbs' pupil for the most of Harmon's tenure, thus the pick seems more than appropriate, and we can only assume Murray will have that position for as long as NCIS is shown. The actress in the Jardians commercial, why does she look familiar? The real Pepper from AHS is absolutely gorgeous. You were unaware that these classic movies were gay. The best NCIS episodes by Mark Harmon in order of action level. CBS slash Edward Chen. The popular CBS show NCIS centers on a group of highly skilled naval criminal investigative service agents who investigate crimes with a Marine Corps or Navy focus. Since its inception as a spin-off of the popular JAG, the series has been broadcast on television. That's not only a noteworthy run for the program, it's a noteworthy run for actor Mark Harmon, who plays Agent Larry Jethro Gibbs, the head of the NCIS. Beginning his career as a Marine, Agent Gibbs later seeks employment in military law enforcement. He is a skilled shot, a resourceful agent, and a fearless team member. Gibbs' intuition, which he frequently used to foresee criminals' subsequent movements and promptly catch them, is even more astounding. Gibbs regularly finds himself in the middle of things because he is the NCIS team's commander. By any means necessary, he works to solve crimes and apprehend criminals, even at the cost of his life. The other NCIS agents know they can always count on Gibbs to hold his own and come through no matter how complicated their current case may be. Some of the most enduring episodes of the long-running series are those in which Gibbs' most pause-worthy situations fully demonstrate his amazing crime-fighting abilities. Fans adore seeing the sage, no-nonsense agent bring justice to his fellow service members season after season. We're ranking the finest NCIS episodes starring Mark Harmon by level of action in honor of his success. Season 15, Episode 15, Keep Your Enemies Closer. The second installment of a two-part story arc starring the return of former FBI agent Tobias Fornell, Joe Spano, is the appropriately titled Keep Your Enemies Closer Season 15 episode. In order to find another murderer, Gibbs and Fornell must strike a deal with one in this episode. Ironically, Gabriel Hicks, Graham Hamilton, a suspected serial killer who escaped custody due to convincing testimony from Gibbs in an earlier episode, is the culprit NCIS is frantically pursuing. To reluctantly connect the exonerated murderer to a string of atrocities, Gibbs enlists the assistance of Hicks' former cellmate, Paul Triff, French steward.
Triff is given a 48-hour supervised parole to aid in the investigation and discovers himself confined in Agent McGee's Scene Murray present-day apartment, which was formerly his home. Naturally, commotion breaks out as the NCIS team nears Hicks, and Agent Gibbs finds himself in the accustomed situation of trying to save the day. Hicks kidnaps Fornell forcibly before going to Agent McGee's house to confront and shoot Triff. Hicks escapes with Fornell trapped in the trunk of his car as NCIS is extremely close to apprehending him. Despite Fornell's efforts to defend himself, Hicks easily overcomes him. Fortunately, Agent Gibbs makes it to the scene in time to taste the serial killer and save his close buddy. Although the confrontation between Hicks and Gibbs is not quite as dramatic as anticipated, Fornell's last-minute rescue is thrilling to witness. 10. The 13th episode of Season 1's One Shot, One Kill Agent Gibbs establishes himself as a self-starting leader who isn't hesitant to engage in conflict when necessary from the very start of the series. Gibbs goes undercover to thwart a sniper who targets Marine recruitment officers in One Shot, One Kill, an episode from Season 1. Police in the area initially think that gunnery sergeant Freddy Alvarez's Francesco Quinn murder was gang-related when they discover him dead. Ballistics, on the other hand, show that Alvarez's killer was probably a proficient sniper. This new information surprises the NCI's team, but they are aware that they need to move rapidly to find the murderer. Unfortunately, while the squad is busy looking for leads, the sniper kills another person. Gibbs makes the decision to intervene on his own account out of concern for the security of the other recruitment officers. At a news conference announcing the reopening of the recruitment office, he assumes the identity of gunnery surgeon Thomas. Naturally, the press conference tempts Kyle Hendricks, Noah Sagan, the sharpshooter, out of hiding. Unfortunately, Gibbs discovers too late that Hendricks pretended to be a water delivery man in order to enter the hiring office. Hendricks is shown firing at the structure as the program ends. The sniper, however, overlooked a crucial improvement, windows with bullet-resistant glass. The NCIS team captures Hendricks and puts an end to his brief crime spree thanks to Gibbs' willingness to sacrifice his life. Season 2, Episode 20 of Red Cell. Agent Gibbs is experienced in hand-to-hand -hand combat, and the Season 2 episode, Red Cell, puts his abilities on full display. Agents from NCIS look into the murder of a young Marine who was discovered dead at Waverly College. They think that someone at the college is responsible for the deceased's murder when they find out that he resided on campus. The crew soon finds their main suspect dead after he vanishes. Agent Gibbs runs into an unusual suspect, Gunnery Sergeant Lika, Jeff Wincott, while NCIS continues to follow clues, including a mysterious hacker and an intramural paintball league. Sergeant Lika first seemed to have something to offer the investigators. He offers to bring his unit in for interrogation as the head of the ROTC office on campus to help solve Turner's murder. However, Lika's involvement in two homicides and a sexual assault is immediately identified by NCIS. Unfortunately for Gibbs, the squad discovers this while he and the murderer are already in the ROTC office. Lika successfully kicks Gibbs' gun away as he attempts to arrest Lika right away. The two fight skillfully, and for a split second, it appears as though Lika will prevail. However, any criminal would be foolish to underestimate Gibbs. Gibbs knocks Lika out despite the fact that he is significantly older than she is just as NCI's operatives bust down the office door. 